While Clara was preparing for a date with Danny, she refused to go sightseeing with the doctor. However, when the doctor received a call from an elderly Madame Carabraxos, who asked him to rescue the teller and its imprisoned mate from the bank of Carabraxos before the solar storm would destroy it, Clara joined the doctor on the mission. The doctor recruited Cybra and Sai and, disguising himself as the architect, orchestrated a bank heist for himself and his new team to commit. The doctor, Clara and Cybra used memory worms to erase their recent memories, while Sai deleted his recent memories manually. This allowed them to break into the bank of Carabraxos without revealing their plan to the teller, who was forced to work as the bank's telepathic guard by Ms. Delphix, the head of bank security. Following the instructions left by the architect, the team discovered six devices which they believed were atomic shredders. Preferring a quick and painless death, Cybra was soon forced to use one of them, as later was Sai. Left alone, the doctor and Clara entered the bank's vault, where they found the payment which the architect had promised to Sai and Cybra. The pair were soon captured by the teller and Ms. Delphix, who ordered their execution. However, they were rescued by Cybra and Sai, who had survived and disguised themselves as guards. They revealed that the atomic shredders were actually teleporters. Reunited, the team ventured into the bank's private vault, where they discovered the bank's director, a younger Madame Carabraxos. Realizing the true identity of the architect, the doctor wrote down his phone number and gave it to Carabraxos, who fled the bank. No longer subjected to Carabraxos, the teller used its psychic powers to restore the doctor's lost memories, allowing him to learn the true objective of their mission. After freeing the teller and its mate, the doctor and his team escaped the planet using the teleporters. Reunited with his TARDIS, the doctor dropped the two creatures off on an isolated planet. After giving Sai and Cybra their payment and having a meal with them and Clara and the TARDIS, the doctor returned his companions to their respective times and places, allowing Clara to be back home on time for her date. At some point, the TARDIS had been lost in 22nd century London and kept a boy called Simon safe when the city had been taken over by wolves. At a time when Simon, the doctor and Clara all needed help, Simon triggered the TARDIS, telepathic circuits and the TARDIS materialized around the doctor and Clara just as they were about to be turned into toast by an Aranandal slime beast. They took Simon out of the danger zone to bring him to his parents in Bedfordshire, before leaving in the TARDIS. Although the doctor always returned her home soon after they left, leading a double life didn't prove to be easy for Clara. During one of their adventures, the doctor and Clara were held prisoner on a desert planet. As a result, Clara acquired a tan, which surprised Danny. After meeting fish people with the doctor, Clara turned up on a date with Danny in a wet dress and with seaweed in her hair. One day Danny came round to Clara's flat to go running with her, not knowing that she was already exhausted after running for her life on another outing with the doctor. On another occasion, Danny saw Clara wearing a space helmet. By that time, the rumors of Clarice and Danny's romantic relationship were traveling among the students of Cole Hill School. Clara's two lives finally collided when one morning the doctor informed her that they were not going to have an adventure that day, explaining that he had a thing to do. To her horror, when Clara arrived at Cole Hill School, Mr. Armitage introduced her, Danny and other teachers to the school's new caretaker, who was actually the doctor going undercover. He had discovered a Scovox Blitzer killer robot in the surrounding area and was planning to lure it into the school, where he was going to trap it using chronodyne generators and send it into the time vortex. However, his plans were spoiled when Danny, whom the doctor didn't like and whom he claimed he didn't recognize, discovered and switched off some of the chronodyne generators. The doctor was still able to temporarily send the Blitzer into the time vortex. Noticing that Clara was familiar with the doctor, Danny demanded explanations. Clara had to tell him the truth about her life with the doctor. The doctor's dislike for Danny increased when he learned that Danny was Clara's boyfriend. Declining his proposal to erase Danny's memories of these events, Clara took the shocked Danny home. Danny was uncomfortable with the fact that Clara eloped with the doctor when he wasn't seeing her. This prompted her to give him an invisibility watch and take him with her into the TARDIS the next day so that he could observe her interactions with the doctor. However, the doctor sensed Danny's presence, and a heated confrontation arose between the two men. As Danny stormed out of the TARDIS, Clara reminded him that it was parents' evening at Cole Hill School that day, and the pair had to return to their duties. During the parents' evening, 
the Scovox Blitzer suddenly emerged from the time vortex earlier than expected, which the doctor detected. He summoned Clara and gave her his sonic screwdriver, instructing her to use it to attract the Blitzer's attention and lure it towards the TARDIS. The doctor used the device that he had built to make the Blitzer think of him as of its superior. This accidentally triggered the Blitzer's self-destruct protocol. However, Danny appeared at the last moment and distracted it, giving the doctor enough time to deactivate the Blitzer. The doctor had to acknowledge that Danny had saved the world, while Danny claimed that he didn't need the doctor to like him, but needed to prove himself a worthy boyfriend for Clara in the doctor's eyes. Clara shared an evening with Danny. He told her that when he was a soldier, he knew officers like the doctor, and made Clara promise to tell him if the doctor ever pushed her too hard. Clara volunteered to supervise a school ski trip with Danny, so the doctor brought her to the planet Eisen V, which they discovered being terraformed by Kano Dollar and his company Dollar Intergalactic. The terraforming woke up a Hyperion named Ran Kor. Clara had to use a ski pole to fence with Eric the drone, reprogrammed by Ran Kor, and help the doctor to revert an area of Eisen V around Ran Kor to its original icy state, freezing Ran Kor inside. This was Clara's first encounter with Hyperions. Clara and the doctor later answered a distress call from an old friend of his, Tiger Murata, leading them to meet his daughter Priyanka Murata instead as Tiger had been dead for some time. It turned out that a family cult that worshipped Kali were working to resurrect her by murdering people and using their souls to power Kali's rebirth. They had tricked Tiger into collecting three of the four swords, but threatened to kill him when he claimed that the fourth was nowhere to be found. Clara was captured and used as bait to ensure the doctor brought the fourth sword of Kali to them, in exchange for Clara's safety. However, they double-crossed the doctor and used Clara as the vessel of Kali's spirit, mutating her into Kali's form. Clara retained awareness of what was happening. When the doctor returned, he managed to help free Clara briefly from Kali's control, saving him from being sliced to death. However, the doctor had a backup plan. He had placed his sonic screwdriver in the fourth sword and tricked Callie into destroying her power source. The vengeful spirits forced Callie out of Clara, returning her to normal. Borrowing a shirt from Priyanka, Clara and the doctor attended the Festival of Light with Priyanka and her new girlfriend Rani Jolka, a time-displaced Amazon from 18th century Africa. Earth was later invaded by the Fractures, creatures of the Void who sought Paul Foster a scientist from another universe who had crossed into end space to join a version of his family that had lost his counterpart. The doctor managed to banish the fractures with Clara convincing him to allow Paul to remain. Clara had been given one of the doctor's sonic screwdrivers during the course of the adventure but as he had forgotten to reclaim it, Clara kept it for herself. On a jungle planet, Clara found a museum that held a record of the 10th, 11th and 12th doctor's meeting. Seeking to prevent the dangerous paradoxes of a multi-doctor event, Clara steered the TARDIS to Paris in 1923 to enlist the aid of Gabby Gonzalez and Alice Obiafune only for a future Gabby to arrive and warn that they were all falling into the trap of an alternate twelfth doctor who now ruled the Vord. Navigating around the traps, the group made their way to Marinus to confront their foe where Clara convinced the alternate twelfth doctor to revert the Vord lest they be destroyed. Only asking that Clara not forget him, the alternate doctor complied. Having previously entered the doctor's time stream, Clara's memories of this were erased soon after.